Hi, I'm Stephanie DiBasquale, the author of Home Rookies, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a pillow cover for your throw pillows. To make this project, you need fabric of your choice, a pillow insert, a pair of scissors, an invisible zipper, and a coordinating color, and some straight pins, and of course your sewing machine. The first thing you want to do is measure the side of your pillow from corner to corner and then add one inch to that measurement and that's the size you need to cut your fabric to for your pillowcase slip. Then we're going to take one side and lay it right sides up and we're going to get ready to install the invisible zipper. And one thing we need to do before we put the zipper on is what makes an invisible zipper invisible is the teeth curve around to the back. And so we need to unzip the zipper and press it open so that those teeth are rolled flat so that we can sew in this little gutter here. So I've got my zipper and I'm going to lay it the back side up and I'm unrolling those teeth that are rolled to the back and then I'm just running my iron over it to flatten that out. You don't want to spend too much time with the iron over the zipper because it is plastic, you can melt it. So just long enough to get it to lay flat. Now when you look at my zipper, it is too long for the pillowcase. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it on here so that the end of the zipper pole is about a half an inch from the edge of the pillow. And then I'm gonna bring it down to the other end and I'm gonna make a mark about half an inch away on this side. And then I'm gonna use that mark to short as a place to shorten my zipper. Now, to shorten your zipper, turn your machine so there's a zigzag stitch. And you're gonna have, I recommend doing this by turning the wheel by hand. So that way you don't accidentally zip or put your needle through your zipper. But you just zigzag over those teeth a couple of times and then the zipper will no longer function past where you sewed on it. So now we can just take our scissors and snip off that excess. And you shorten your zipper. So to pin the zipper to the fabric, you want to take the right side of the zipper and face it against the right side of the fabric. And I have the zipper teeth facing away from the edge. So I have the edge of the zipper that I'm lining up with the edge of my fabric. I'm first going to put one pin in the end. And then work my way down, pinning every four to five inches to keep that in place. Now I've done a couple of things here. I put on a zipper foot so that way my needle is going to come down right in this groove um, right next to the zipper teeth but you don't want to sew through them because remember if we sew through the zipper teeth then the zipper will no longer function. So I'm going to sew a few stitches in place to anchor that zipper in place. And then using my zipper foot as a guide it's a butting up right next to those zipper teeth so that I can sew right next to them so that the zipper will truly be invisible when we turn this around and put it together. Now once you've got the zipper on the first thing you want to do is test and make sure it still zips because if it doesn't zip that means that you put a thread over the teeth and you're going to go but have to go back and adjust where it doesn't function correctly. So this one works, so we're going to move on to the next step on this one. And I'm considering this the bottom of my fabric. So I'm going to lay this right sides together. And now the right side of the zipper is now facing the right side of my other side of my pillowcase. And the same way as before, we're going to pin this in place. And you do want to make sure when you're doing this that the edges of your pillowcase are lining up and that your zipper is going on in the same place because if it doesn't match up here it's not going to match up when you go to zipper it later and you're going to have trouble with the rest of the construction steps. 
So go ahead and do that and then just keep pinning all the way down like we did before. Now we're going to sew the zipper onto the other side of the fabric and we're going to use the exact same method that we did before. We're going to back up our stitches to secure those that zipper in place and then just using your zipper foot as a guide sew right next to those zipper teeth all the way down the length of your zipper. Now we have the moment of truth where we see if we've done this correctly and the zipper zips. And if it zips all the way to the end, then you've done it correctly. And if you can't see your zipper, then you've really done it right because the zipper should be invisible, hence the name invisible zipper foot. So now with that zipper closed, we're going to flip it over. And we're going to line up our corners. And I'm going to put a pin in my two corners that are free, which are the top corners. And then depending on how slick your fabric is will depend on how many pins you'll need in the rest of the pillow. This fabric is kind of slippery, so I'm going to use maybe a few more pins than I normally would just to make sure that everything stays in place where it should. If you have a stiffer fabric, then you won't need as many pins. But you're going to pin your corners first and then do the same thing for your sides, starting with your center and then working your way out. And you want to make sure that you put a pin right in the edge here to keep everything in place, like that. Now before you start sewing, you want to unzip your zipper about half to three quarters of the way so that you're able to turn your pillowcase right side out when you're done. Otherwise, uh, you're going to sew all of your four sides shut and that's not going to work out very well. So I've changed my presser foot to a standard presser foot. And I'm going to sew using a half inch seam. And I'm going to start about a half inch from the bottom edge where we have our zipper. I'm going to stitch in place a few times, front and back. So you hear that stitch. And then I'm going to turn it towards me. And I'm going to continue on with my half inch seam allowance. Sew all the way to the corner. Back up your stitches. Go ahead and break your thread and then start again going in the other direction. And always when you're starting and stopping, reinforce your stitches by going back and forth. When I get back around to the zipper, I'm going to sew until I reach that zipper. And then I'm going to turn my corner and stitch in just a few stitches and then stitch in place to secure that. Now the last thing you want to do is you want to clip your corners and you want to make sure you don't clip into your seam line but you're really just clipping off the top of this corner and that will help keep your points uh, nice and pointy because you're not folding all that bulk into it but whatever you do make sure you don't cut through the X that your thread makes. Now we can turn our pillow right side out. And you just use your fingertips to poke those points through to make them as square as possible. So you just put your pillow form inside your new pillowcase and you have a brand new throw pillow. And this is what your invisible zipper should look like when it's done. You can see a little bit of it, but uh, you really can't see a whole lot of it, and the actual teeth are hidden. So when it's on your couch, you will barely see it at all.